Hello students, welcome to Diadme IS. I am Zeba. I am your faculty for management at Diadme IS. For today's session that we are going to be conducting, we are going to be taking the subject Government Business Interface and with that subject in your paper 2, we are going to be taking a very important topic that has been frequently asked in your optional UPSC paper 2. Uh, the, as you can see it here also, it is called State Participation in Business. right? Before I move on further, let me just tell this to you that this particular topic from the syllabus has been asked three times. Yes, three times in the previous year papers. So as per the previous year question, it is very, very important for you to go through this topic. Right? What we, for today's session, I'm going to explain how the, we are going to proceed. Right? So let's move on further. Before, move, uh, before going to the topic and explaining you the topic today, let me show the previous year questions for you so that you get a clear idea that how the questions actually have been asked by the UPSC. So I'll be beginning with the year 2022 paper, that is paper two, as you can see on your screens as well. Here, the question that was asked was, is participa state participation in business essential? Discuss the objectives of liberalization, privatization, and globalization. So again, this is a 10 marker questions, as you can all see here on, on your screen. The questions is basically a direct question, right? The question is basically a direct question. It is asking that how state, that is a government, plays a significant role in the business uh, environment, or, as well as it is asking you to state the objectives of liberalization, privatization, and, and globalization. They are directly taken from the subject uh, course of this uh, mo uh, module. This is a 10 marker question and very easy for you. It is a so, you, so you can divide the answers from 5-5 five, five part to marks to each part, right? Then for the year 2020, this question was again asked. As you can see here, the question was discuss the ways in which state can participate in the economic life of a country. So again, a very important question. Can you see like from 2022, just back to 2020, this question was again asked. So this is a repeated question. So you have to be very, very thorough with this particular topic. The third paper in 2019, again it was asked, and as you can see it here also, in the context of state participation in business, the government efforts to make business and commerce easy have been widely acknowledged. The next frontier on ease of doing business is addressing pendency, delays, backlogs in appellate and judicial areas, suggest ways to address the law's delay and boost the economy. So for somebody who has actually studied the concept of how the state act participates in the business context, which I'm going to explain the entire role, the entire, uh, like the entire environment, I would say, where this uh, state plays a very significant role, you can easily attempt this answer, right? So definitely a 15 mark, uh, so basically it was a 20 marker question. So yes, that's how it was. For today's session, let me just give you a, like a brief overview that what we are going to be doing today. First, we are going to be beginning, uh, beginning with me explaining you the role of uh, government in business. Then I'm going to come to the responsibilities of the business. Uh, that, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, the responsibility of the government. Then we have the four major uh, four ro uh, like roles that government plays, that is as a regulator, as a promoter, as a planner, and as an entrepreneur. After that, at the end of today's session, I'm, go I'm going to explain to you how Union Government of India plays a significant role in the current business environment. And as per the current affairs you would all be reading as a UPSC aspirant, you would be reading a lot of articles about how the state participation in business is nowadays a very much topic of discussion. So you have to be very thorough with this topic. You have to also be able to quote case studies when it comes to such a question. You need to know about the organizations that Government of India has actually now started, which are playing a very, very crucial role in framing the new aged Make in India concept. So you need to be very, very thorough with those concepts. 
and make sure you have at least two to three case studies when it comes to this particular topic of state participation in business. Right? Let's move on. So when I talk about the role of government in business, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when I talk about what the, uh, how a government, uh, like as a, as a significant uh, organization, plays and controls the business of any country? So basically, it goes back to the 17th, 18th century, when the governments of different countries were very, very much playing a, I would say, a very controlling uh, approach towards the business that were going on in the country. So there were a lot of, there was no, in, there was no flexibility, there were very rigidity in the context of rules and all the kind of policies. So gradually, post 19th century, the entire picture changed when the governments of several countries realized that they have been playing a very, uh, I would say, a, a role which is not boosting the economy, but is actually drawing, withdrawing it back. So in terms of profit making, in terms of wealth management, everything was getting on hold. So government realized that it cannot be in too much into power. It has to like, change the gears of its performance or of or its uh, involvement in the state business. Right? So what happened, as you can see, read here also, the era of 17th, 18th century with the growth of capitalism and in the uh, gradually in the 19th century emphasized that the role of state should be restricted to formulation and enactment of laws so here now the government realized that it cannot just be completely there into and you know be very very controlling the only role of the government is to make sure that the rules are enacted there is regulation there is a there is no monopoly in the market there is like a very healthy competition maintained and uh, there is no kind of uh, goods hoarding and stuff like that so here the kind of involvement of government in the business environment really changed so there was a lot of flexibility or i would say there was a lot of um, dynamic environment that was created by governments right the political environment of the government includes so when i talk about the governments how like the governments are playing a role they are ba they basically includes the laws it includes the, that the government agencies and the lobbying groups that influence or restrict individuals or business organization of course, you cannot just be completely be uh, going through the concept of a, free, a, a very uh, free-handed approach where business are not being actually uh, controlled. No, that is not the case. Bus governments do have a controlling aspect also, but the the I would say the uh, complexity or the uh, impact um, in in context of how the government is going to be. Uh, completely involved, that really uh, magnifies there, right? It can be diluted to a, con a concept of what kind of a business in business environment it is actually considering, right? Business that take a proactive stance towards understanding and complying with the federal agencies and regulatory acts also minimizes with their chances of fines, prosecutions, and other actions. Definitely, if any uh, business organization is not uh, acting by the law or is creating any kind of hindrance which is creating a, a unhealthy environment in the society, that time government comes into the role of a strictness and it has to uh, clearly define the laws, clearly uh, impose fines, clearly imp impose prosecutions. And we know a lot of examples in our real life where several organizations have been fined or have been just declared uh, bankrupt when they were not abiding by the rules as stated by the government, right? So when I talk about state participation in business, I have included 10 major points. You have to be very thorough with all these 10 points. So these are basically what kind of the role. When I talk about the clear uh, picture of what kind of the role state has is participating in the business these are the 10 uh, points that you have to consider the first point that i have included here students is the enacting of info and enforcing of laws definitely the laws that are made by the constitution of the country they are also very very significant because enacting and enforcing of these law 
is the prime responsibility of the government. The government comes into power. So even if it has come into power, it cannot be just completely be taking a back seat and thinking about the fact that, OK, uh, you know, now the business uh, owners are going to uh, be very much there, and they are going to do all the roles. It's just at the end of the day, the economy of the country is improving. That is what they care about. No, that is not the case. As per the Constitution, as per the laws that have been mentioned in private sector, governments make sure that the entire business environment of the country is being very, very much enacted and enforced as per the all the rights of the customers and the business owner and the society, right? Second point here is to maintain law and order. It has to ensure that no business in, in, you know, uh, that is being running in the country is creating any kind of a uh, So let's come to the second point, where it says maintaining of law and order. Maintaining law and order and protecting the persons and the properties another responsibility. Government cannot just be uh, taking a back seat considering the fact that, OK, you know, the business has started, the private sector is booming, the country's economy is improving. It has to ensure that there is safety of the customers, there is safety of the uh, business owners. There, the society in general is very much being uh, not hampered in negatively with the business that is running in the country, right? Providing monetary system. The government has to provide monetary systems so that the business transactions can be functioning. Many times, business owners are not that much dependent on themselves, and they need to be, uh, you know, taking certain helps in context of monetary uh, uh, funds and the other capital investment. So that time government comes into the picture and government do provide certain loans and uh, there are a lot of schemes, you know, they, they that have been now implementing where the startup culture, there are several uh, startup organizations that are being promoted with the help of the capital investment by the government of India directly, right? We're going to go uh, to all those kind of ventures of government of India at the end of our today's session. Fourth point here is balance regional development growth. It is the responsibility of the government to make sure that there are balanced regional development. The environment of employment, right? The entire employment of uh, the entire economy upgradation is maintained with the business environment that is running. So that is how it is included. The fifth point here is provision of business basic infrastructure. When I talk about basic infrastructure, we have transportation, we have power, we have finance, we have trained personnel. So also the civic amenities. So in context of power, water supply, all these things, right? The basic infrastructure that is required to run any business is definitely, definitely in consideration by the state participation. The sixth major role of the state in the business is supply of information. The government of India ensures that any government, any business organization that is coming into uh, consideration or functioning has got the good amount of data or the previous uh, records so that he, uh, this particular business organization can utilize them and further move on to uh, expand the wealth management schemes of themselves, right? So it is a responsibility definitely of the government to provide all the, all the information which is useful to business in carrying out their business activity. There is a transparency of all the data and the records maintained so that a, a, any other, any uh, future coming business organization gets a clear cut idea with business government agencies publishing and providing large amount of information which is used extensively by business firms, right? So there are a lot of magazines and a lot of uh, case studies that come up on the government websites in context of different ministries. So any person who is trying to go ahead with, let's say, any particular field of business uh, expansion can go through those information. The seventh point here is the assistance to small scale industries. This particular uh, point is students very important because there is a separate topic in this uh, only subject module where how where you'll be studying about how government is promoting the small scale industries.
so that is how about it is so there is assistant to small scale industries where you are going to be understanding about the fact that how government of india is just not being very much uh, uh, thinking about the large scale uh, industries or the big players in the uh, marketing world they are also considerate of the small scale industries and post covid 19 the picture has been uh, completely changed so government of india is definitely definitely promoting those small scale industries the cottage industries and all those uh, definitely markets which have which really really needs the government support right then there is transfer technology it is the responsibility of the government to provide to uh, industries whatever discoveries that are made by the government so this is not private this is provide basically okay so government of india provides certain technology advancements and with the several research institutes government of india has its own government uh, run research institutes in context of medicine aeronautics and all those things so uh, the transfer of technology that role also is provided by the government the ninth point that i have included here is conducting inspection to maintain the fair dealing of the entire business world in a country government has several uh, organization or regulatory bodies that conducts inspections we have ed and all those things so it is the responsibility definitely of the government to inspect that the business concerns make sure that they produce good quality products and also to prevent production and scale of substandard goods so the consumer protection and everything it comes under this only right the government cannot be uh, completely uh, be blind i did to the fact that okay businesses are running they have different standardization iso and uh, other which make sure that there is the products that are produced are very much of a good standard or a, of a good quality and then the 10th point here is incentives to home industries it is the responsibility of the government to encourage the development of home industries the make in india uh, like banner is very much in promotion right now so that is where it is where now instead of india being a like we all know that india is a developing country right so now instead of having a making like buying products from outside the world or outside countries and making them uh, wealthy now india has as a developing country is a very progressive in the economic consideration so now we have started making our own Uh, different products and different goods and services so this is a very good step or a very significant step towards the home industries that would really create india it would actually give india a very good hold over the entire world market right so these are the basic 10 points as you can see here please make sure that you know all these 10 points and you are well versed with these 10 points when the answer writing part come you can include all those 10 points and you can include it in in a form of a, a flow diagram also and it would create a good like a good presentation for your question answer right now i come to the responsibilities of government as you can all see here i have included the most popular four roles that the government play first is of a regulator then of for promotional then for the enter as a entrepreneur and then as a planner so always remember these are the four major four phased key roles that government plays the previous one were a detailed understanding this is categorically now you are going to be understanding that how government plays a role and controls the entire business world right i'm going to explain all the four one by one just go through them and then you will be able to understand it in a better way so i'll begin with government as a regulator so here as you can see
okay so now we are going to be taking an understanding that how government acts as a regulator so when i talk about regulator students please understand with the fact that this is the first and the most crucial way that the government is controlling the entire business of a country right so government has to be very 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 uh, uh, i would say clear and very very uh, i would say um thorough with the fact that all the laws and all the regulations are very very much implemented as per the standard laws stated by the constitution of india the there is no absolute bargain in context of the laws and order the government has to be the very controlling or the very disciplinary body when it comes to this particular function right the regulatory role of the government involves the formulation and implementing various direct and indirect measures to monitor the regulate environment economic activities of the private sector as per the in current uh, condition of the world market and as per the current condition of the domestic market government has to provide or has to sometimes add or remove certain policies or certain laws and then as per the understanding of the all the uh, you know factors the entire process of business is made to be functioning in a country right so the government has to ensure that these measures are required to prevent socially restrictive activities of the businesses and concentration of economic power and encourage private business to work towards the growth of the economy because at the end of the day what is the end result that government also expects that the country's economy is going to be boosting right the entire gdp rate and everything is going to be uh, at a very significant point so to get that level of uh, goal uh, oriented approach the government ensures that all the regulatory measures are implemented it begins with the industrial and the licensing policies government makes sure that the standardized license and to run the smooth business is definitely considered then the policy related to taxation sometimes there are there is a co consideration of the amount of income tax slab depending upon the kind of business so that is also considered here then there is a monetary and credit policy the amount of capital investment and the way this capital is going to be flowing uh, throughout the business plays a very uh, crucial role here then you have policies related to income and wages that how the wages and the income is going to be provided there should not be any unfair means the employer uh, the employee gets the kind of service the money in context of the kind of service he or she provided it cannot be any way less than the expected norms right then the technology and employment policies what are the latest technology what are the way the training and entire uh, module should be uh, available import and export policies what are the various uh, schemes in considerations of the foreign direct investment or the foreign trade that are going to be uh, there in in and it also depends upon the relation that our country is having with the another uh, neighboring country right then the foreign exchange policies like i just told you the way uh, the entire um, policy of goods ex and services exchange is considered then there is industrial safety and environment policies to ensure that the smooth, the there is business or there is progress in in context of the development of economy there has to be also an aspect of maintaining the environment and maintaining the environment in context of not any business should not hamper or no should not affect the environment of the country in a negative way right so that is also the very very uh, part of the regulation uh, function of a government right then as the different uh, context of the regulator i have also included these sub key points what you can do is you can read those previous slides and then you can uh, to make a mind map also you can use these significantly right prescribes the rules of a business government as a regulator clearly initially only defines that okay this is the kind of business you are going to be uh, starting in the country okay this is the kind of the rules and regulations you are going to be following right then the purchase of business products and services definitely what kind of a products of uh, the sale purchase think of different products and services going to be conducted 
then uh, the architects of the economic growth, government acts and supports uh, as an architect of the economic growth so that the business and the government uh, of the country are working together towards the economic growth. Then the finance control, there should not be any kind of an unfair practice. We already have discussed a lot of past, uh, uh, we, and we all have been reading in the current affairs that the, um, uh, many business organization try to uh, hamper the, uh, f uh, like the free flow of cash and try to manipulate the records. So that in that context, the financial control and the transparency, the way the income tax uh, you know, uh, is being paid, everything is controlled by the government and looked after, right? Then there is protection of market. It cannot be just a monopoly of any particular uh, organization. There has to be a very uh, neutral approach in context of a fair market dealing. So the pro to protect the competition and to make sure that everybody gets an equal chance to promote his or her business organization, the government plays a very important role. Then to protect the business environment, like I told you, there should be no hoarding, there should be no black marketing, and entire business environment is healthy, right? If that is how it, it is going to be, then other investors from other countries are going to also come and invest. So the protection of the business, business environment is very, very important. Then to protect the environment, and here we are talking about the natural environment. The government of India also makes sure that the, there is no kind of a pollution or any kind of uh, uh, effect to the natural environment. Now we come to the second uh, and again a very important uh, role that the government plays and that role that government plays is that of a promoter, right? So when I talk about government as a promoter, please understand it is very much different from the role the government plays as a regulator. As a regulator, government is very much being in that uh, system of operations, being there, uh, looking after the entire uh, functioning, regulating and ma maintaining the law and order, and keeping a regular checks, and taking ensure that the standard standardization of product service, environment protection, everything is taking place. So it is basically a direct involvement as a regulator. When it when government comes as to play a role as a promoter, right? So as a promoter, it is basically just being not completely engrossed. It is being there and now it is acting as an observant mostly, right? It provides the kind of environment that stability is provided, that safeguard environment is provided by the government, but it is not like being directly involved. Right. Let's understand this more clearly. The main promotional role of a government is to increase the social and economic overhead capital for the growth of the economy. The business is running smoothly. The social and the economical environment is maintained. There is significant like improvement of the uh, business environment. There is significant wealth improvement of the country. That is what the government is in, like. You know. Uh, operating as when it comes to the role as a promoter. So government provides the infrastructure, government provides the kind of facilities. That is the only role here government plays as a promoter. It is very much different from the level or the degree of involvement. Always remember that. Sometimes students get confused that, ma'am, what was the, what is the difference between the role government plays as a regulator and as a promoter? So I always tell them it is in context of the degree of involvement. There, the degree of involvement is very, very high. But as a promoter, the degree of involvement is very less. 
द इकनॉमिक ओवर हेड कैन बी इंक्रीज बाई बिल्डिंग इन्वायरमेंटल स्ट्रक्चर विच इंक्लूड्स डेवलपमेंट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्ट कम्युनिकेशन फैसिलिटीज नो बिजनेस कैन वर्क विदाउट दीज बेसिक फैसिलिटीज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन और यू नो कम्युनिकेशन सो गवर्नमेंट इंश्योर दैट दीज फैसिलिटीज आर प्रोवाइडेड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इरीगेशन फैसिलिटीज फॉर डेफिनेटली अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर विद डैम्स केनाल्स ट्यूब वेल्स इज द काइंड ऑफ रोल गवर्नमेंट प्लेज हेयर production and appropriate distribution of electricity and various other resources so can you see here that this is basically the uh, very very i would say an outline of the business environment that is provided here right the infrastructure facility all the logistics part that is very much uh, that is very much required for a business to be existing and running that is what is provided here there is no uh, in, uh, inclusion of any kind of uh, checking factor or the kind of uh, evaluation factor here it is just the simple infrastructure and logistic facilities then the expansion of business having strategic importance it also make sure provide a, a kind of a different environment for uh, different platforms for where there is strategic improvement of those business development and implementation of advanced technology as soon as any technology is there in the world the government ensures that the same comes in the home country or the at domestic level and it is provided to the other business organization that are running in the country no matter at what scale that they are operating they have the uh, like they they have the if, uh, if they have the i would say the flexibility of receiving them so there is no restriction out there when it comes to the latest technology facility also on the other hand social overhead depends on the activities such as investment in educational health community so these are basically all the simple uh, kind of uh, facilities that are required for a growth and improvement of any business organization now to understand further how government plays a role as a promoter the infrastructure building helps private businesses by producing overheads socially and economically which in turn increases the production and economic growth the improvement in the overheads would definitely be very much helping in the increase in the production and economic growth so what is what is the role as a promoter this is how it's going to be controlling it in addition economic growth in increases the size of the market the way the economy of the country is going to improve the directly proportional is the way the market is going to be enriching so with further increase the total demand for goods and services would definitely improve right so this provides a major advantage to private business so the private business function in the und, it, it, it works basically under the umbrella protection of the government right with uh, without if government cannot be just act as a very uh, i would say be, be be very much vigilant in terms of its disciplinary action it has to be also flexible by helping the government to realize that okay they are also there to help them promote the business they are not just there to be the captain of the ship and just see that oh, okay all the rules and regulations are followed no the kind of participation government also provides here as a promoter is very important apart from this economic and social overhead capital results in the creation of external economies and reduction in capital output ratio and production cost so apart from the economic and the social overhead that we have just discussed it there is reduction in the capital output ratio and productivity so that is also a role that governments plays apart from just focusing on the economic and social growth now we come to the third important function of the government and that is government as a planner when we talk about government as a planner in a developing country like india always remember that the resources are very much limited so government cannot just let all the business organization use all the resources and think about the fact that okay these are the major players in the market these are the only companies that are going to use the resources the other organizations beat in small or medium scale they don't need any such resources or they can rely on any uh, other substitutes no that is not the case so the planning role of a government plays the role in the overall development of the country 
because it is how it is going to make the right approach towards the economic growth of the country right so in developing country like india planning is very important to ensure that available resources are channelized in the right direction like i just told you so we started uh, as a country post independence we started with the planning commission you must have all heard about it it used to make five year plans so it used to be the those concrete five year plans that as per the economic growth how, what is going to be the strategy how the different business ventures are going to be undertaken and what is going to be the right approach of uh, excelling in context of the market development right so now we have niti ayog so planning commission has been now replaced with niti ayog so these are several organization which are still playing that vital role without them uh, as a country the kind of uh, business model that we are expecting to develop on the international front cannot be possible so here these planning commissions are those that monitor and control this uh, function planning helps in defining priorities the priorities are very much clearly because there are this a, there is a team of people who are, have very well versed with the uh, the forecasting of the future and have a very good idea about the past that experiences that our, con our country has gone through so now those experts and those uh, uh, people provide helps in uh, defining or uh, like listing the priorities of the resources available with any country and india we know that the planning committee commission was uh, there set up in the year 1983 now government as a planner has certain five major roles to play as you can see it is a long term vision and it starts with to increase and optimize the production level to maximize the national per capita income that is how the planning commission plans its further future course of action secondly to encourage industrialization with the emphasis on the core and heavy industries to attain self reliance so instead of depending upon the other countries outside the domestic front we are now ensuring as per the planning commission uh, model that it has always been that instead of going outside and take help or uh, you know make sure there is a lot of export happening we have to uh, so we have to make sure that we are now being self reliant and we are as our, our own country we are boosting our resources and utilizing them to the best optimal way right attainment of full employment when there will be attaining of self reliance there will be a lot of employment opportunity so everybody will get that skilled labor approach of uh, utilizing their manpower and optimally using it to attain full employment then there is reduce reduction of the uh, socio economic and in income inequality so the kind of uh, socio economic and uh, inequality income gap would be filled here right establishing of socialist system based on the social justice and absence of exploitation the planning approach as a government also ensured that there is no exploitation of resources there is no wastage of resources and there is the right direction or there is direct flow of uh, right strategy or right planned approach towards the excelling of the business as well as in the larger picture excellence of the economic growth now government as an enterprise right so this is basically the fourth and the last important function of government uh, i would say that here at this particular environment that we are now dealing with and the kind of uh, current uh, condition of our economy this question plays a very very important role why because see as per right now you you we know how active our government is in itself in being a part of the entire make in india plan and the different kind of uh, uh, different organizations Act actually i would say several if you compare the past environment of the government that how they used to be uh, providing certain uh, aspects of contribution right now the environment of business environment of startups is very much at peak so government as an entrepreneur is also uh, being uh, being very very uh, crucial here right there are mergers of several banks there are mer mergers of uh, like bank of baroda has taken undertaken um, 
uh, two di different banks. So this is how the entire uh, government is playing a role of helping out or bringing those organizations which are which are suffering for some or the other reasons and bringing them them to a standard level so that they don't get doomed and they have their own consideration of being functioning smoothly right for some it would be uh, an aspect of so all the all the all the aspects are considered we just cannot be completely biased towards one consideration we have to be taking into consideration all the factors so government as an entrepreneur right now is very much important so please make sure that you have a good idea about it you know certain case studies when it con comes to this particular function of a government now if you come back to the slide students entrepreneur role of the government refers to the government investment capitalization and ownership of the business right so government here i would say acts as a savior for any business organization that requires any kind of investment capitalization or any kind of help or a way, a, a, in in a way to promote itself right in in a in a and to uh, help it out in the way instead of and being very very i would say to to be very much uh, like a friend in con consideration of helping it out right if there is one friend is in uh, uh you know problem so the other friend who is very much uh, feels for the other person he or she is always there to support so in this is the kind of role government is playing as an entrepreneur so the level of involvement is more here the entrepreneur role of the government increased considerably with the industrial policies from the 1948 and 1956 post liberalization in 1991 also government has been a very significant uh, playing a very significant role in context of uh, providing investments and stuff so government makes investment in industries which require heavy investment or whose development is in interest of the nation so directly the end goal is the development of the nation so government makes sure that it is helping out those industries those business organization which are in future going to play a very very crucial role for the for the entire country to be uh, you know uh, play a uh, to be to be considered at an upper edge in the world market right so that is about it acquiring existing units right so when i talk about existing units there like i told you there are mergers of several bank right so uh, like i told you bank of baroda was uh, undertaking dena bank and so on so these these are the kind of government uh, helps those sick units from the revival and make them revival and help them to smoothly function again then there is nationalization certain industries have been reserved exclusively for the public sector right so these are the so it is not just that the private players are only going to be uh, earning profit there are several organizations like we know uh, which where the other uh, private companies cannot be just directly come in and uh, play the role of controlling and operating there are government organizations which are there and which in maintaining the national uh, interest so before i move on to the how union uh, of uh, government of india actually uh, is right now in the current environment uh, supporting in the business i want you everybody to be very very clear about all the functions that we have studied please make sure that you have running notes and you know the difference between all the four kind of uh, functions of the government these are the four major roles and uh, when it comes to a question if the question is going to become and it is expected to be there so the question is going to be direct you can have to have certain case studies for all the four functions that we have just done right
so if we talk about the union government role in the current environment of the business we all know that there are sp several public sector uh, you know units that have now been uh, approached directly uh, you know which have now been directly approached by the government to merge with the certain private organizations that is in context of the economical growth that is being forecasted right so the entire world market is also kept in alignment with certain uh, decisions that any government takes to be considered so our government of india the current government that is now making sure that the entire context of make in india is very much prominent right now right so the way the country is boosting its economy and the kind of expectancy of the growth that we are having as a developing country everything is basically taken into consideration here so to promote business and provide support to them the union government of india has launched schemes specifically for helping the businesses in india and these schemes come under the category of union of government schemes for businesses in india the businesses established in various fields help for the economic growth and development of the country that we all know why because it helps to give even to gain recognition at the global level so if the reputation of the country in context of its economic growth is there it is going to definitely be a word of uh, consideration for the entire world so if we at domestic front only we are uh, you you know we are being very much in alignment to the fact that we are utilizing the resources available there is the right flow of capital there is maintenance of the assets with the reduction in the context of liabilities in those entire uh, you know aspects the with the domestic uh, approach the same recognition is going to be reflected in the international market so then with several uh, companies right now looking forward to india as the part of the uh, market of uh, you know um, acceptance so we have to also be very much in alignment with the fact that to gain uh, recognition at the global level the government has to be a significant partner currently entrepreneurship and establishment of their own businesses are gaining momentum so it has been very much uh, being uh, discussed that as per the, the current environment there the way people are starting their own business ventures is definitely at peak right now it was never as uh, in comparison to previously also it was there but the way the confidence now that the current uh, business organizations are coming up with the startup culture and all those different digital uh, upgradation even post covid so this is basically how our country is being a uh, or the government is helping out or being uh, playing a vital role in uh, you know providing that flexibility and that safeguard environment for the uh, new business ventures to come in the picture through the establishment of innovation think business or startups the country economy of the country will flourish definitely the more uh, progress in the business world or the more is going to be the directly the uh, boosting of the country's economy to ease the burden and encourage previous running businesses and new business setup and business startups the government has launched various schemes for the business the government implements these schemes with the help of various ministries so there are ministry of corporate affairs there are several other ministries of uh, consumer protect protection so all these organizations uh, which are controlling the financial flow the financial institutions joint venture companies public sector undertakings banks so all these are helping out to make sure that there is an uh, i would say a a combined growth so we are not just being like earlier it used to be everything used to be uh, people used to be very much in considerable of the public sector uh, enterprises but right now the mindset also of the consumers are changing so now the private key players are also providing the 
significant upgradation of standards and they are all working together it is there is no like a, um, i would say there is no race happening between the public and the private sector they are all working together right now in the current uh, business world market so that is definitely a positive approach of our country's uh, growth so i would tell you how this uh, the union government of india is right now promoting the business culture as you can see here i have included six major organizations that are working first is the rashtriya krishi vikas yojana you have to uh, you can actually include these uh, in your case studies so rashtriya vikas yojana is helping out in the context of agricultural uh, you know uh, improvement then there is aspire right so it is also helping in the rural uh, development in context of the business world there is mudra bank we all know about it how the financial uh, uh, help is provided here there are multiplier grant scheme so now the uh, level of uh, 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 you know availability of certifications and the quality control is very easily available support for international patent protection in electronics and information technology it is also called also called sip uh, id and it is basically in, in concentration of the digital india that we are having then there is credit gar guarantee scheme for startups uh, startup culture is basically at boon right now so this portal organization helps those uh, new uh, startup ventures to come into the fact of uh, promoting themselves and running themselves smoothly right so when it comes to a question regarding the state participation in business let me go back to the slides that we first saw in the previous year questions right i would begin with the last years 2022 so it says what is is the state participation in business essential so definitely after studying the concept of what significant four roles state uh, uh, plays we can definitely say yes in context of that so you have to explain that uh, the entire with with by supporting this uh, answer yes with certain aspects of uh, the different kind of roles that we have studied right and then you have to discuss the objectives of liberalization privatization and globalization so here you have to explain the definitions and you have to integrate the how the government is playing a role in the context of uh, objectives to uh, achieve like earlier liberalization and now privatization and the globalization right then for the if i come to the year 2020 the same question as i uh, discussed was asked to discuss the ways in which state participate in the economic life of a country here you have to be very very clear with the fact that entire uh, concept that we have just studied you have to include it here it's a very direct and a very easy question you can include all the roles you can include all the responsibilities and you can uh, even uh, draw diagrams that i have just shown to you so it would great, give a better presentation to the evaluator right again this is for six marks so you can go for it so there's a topic of corporate governments which i'm going to take uh, in the next session for sure then coming back to the 2019 for some students uh, this would be a little difficult question because they they might they might be feeling that okay ma'am this is a little lengthy question but it is not actually this is this is just directly asking you to explain the way so, so first like i have discussed you have to explain the entire state participation in the business and then since it's like a 10 plus 10 marker question you have to even suggest the ways to address the laws delays and boost the economy right so here you are going to be uh, emphasizing more on the role government plays as a regulator right so that is what is you are going to be considering here so this is again a 20 marker question you can easily attempt this question um, in consideration of this particular subject module right so with this i come to the end of discussion for today if you have any doubts you can ask me and uh, the answer you can start answer writing uh, this the similar questions that we have just i've just shown to you start uh, framing your answers and you can easily uh, you know check that what what you have understood and it would help you out in your further marks right so with this i end the session for today thank you so much take care